I got a confession to make. Huh? When I came home, I had probably seven or eight. I'm gonna leave the office and uh, head back toward the house. It's been a good day though. Hope you had a good day. Good to see you. So I'm kind of looking forward to get home because we're having one of my favorites tonight. There's a little fried rice and chicken. Whoa. You know, my wife, she sends me uh, she sends me a text usually every day, every morning. And this morning, I especially liked it. Here's what, I'll, here's what she said. And this is a quote, and I can't I can't pronounce the guy's last name. First name is Joe. Last name is spelled K U H A R I C H. It says this: Once you start listening to people in the stands, you will soon be sitting with them. In other words, you can either get in the game, be a part of what's going on, get excited about whatever you're teaming up with, whether it's your marriage, with your children. Uh, especially for Christians, this has just, I think, just some great sp spiritual implications. My wife said this. I said, um, listen only to the Lord to continue in His playbook. Stay in your position on the field. Guard you and your team well from the opponent and keep the goal in mind. Now, that's a good word from my wife. Hey, anyway, anyway, back to what I was saying on the way home. Let's talk about this a minute because... Um, when you start listening, if you start listening to everything the people in the stands tell you, before long you'll be sitting with them. In other words, in life, there are always going to be people going to try to tell you how to live your life. Always. Whether they are close friends or even family, that's just the way people are. So the key is to knowing what your purpose or what your plan is in life, then you can always start coming back to that whenever people start pointing you in the direction they want you to go because so many people have an agenda for you. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, people and agendas and opinions. And and I'm not saying that uh, people's opinions are not important. And I'm not saying that at all. I think we need to listen to criticism. We need to evaluate criticism. But you always have to be able to measure that criticism and you, you have to measure criticism and if you measure it by feelings ah, that's not too good what you got to do is you got to for me what I have found the best measuring is the scriptures that's the Bible some would say God's Word and while people may say you're this or you're that um, God's Word would say no you're this this is who I say you are so, you know, that's uh, that's what I'm going to go by every single time. But at the end of the day, something, something provides your values for you. Now, I don't know what you're banking on for those values, but mine is God and God's Word. And it's always been true. I've never found God's Word to be unfaithful or untrue to me. So, that's what I'm sticking to. So, we're home. Hello, Big T. Hello, Sadie. You say hi? Huh? Look who got home. It's Girl Friday. Mm -hmm. What's your name of your website? KarenGirlFriday.com And uh, tell them your Twitter and your Instagram. How can they find you? Instagram, I think, is KC Friday and Twitter is Friday Karen. Oh, we're going to have some fried rice and chicken. You're the fried rice chef. I'm going to fry the rice. It's going to be good. So I got a confession to make. Huh? When I came home, I had probably seven or eight. Cheetos. How'd you know? I just know you. Cheetos. I, I just know you. She's so shy. She's so shy. I know somebody else who... I was looking to see you. That's Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. What are you doing over there? Uncle Ben knows how to do some rice. Uncle Ben, he knows what he's doing. Oh, by the way, I need to tell y'all something. Karen Girl Fridays, she really eats these things that are supposed to make you live 
a lot longer than people like me. It's like bacon. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure bacon is going to be what takes me out of here. Other than God. Pretty sure it's bacon. I love it. But she eats this stuff. Like right here. You see this jar? She eats one of these Hershey nuggets. But it's not just Hershey. It's dark chocolate. Why dark chocolate? Dark chocolate is good for your heart. It has to be directly from the cocoa bean. And dark chocolate is. And it's heart healthy. It's good for your heart. And yeah, she looks like this when she wakes up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, right. She really does. It's yeah, unbelievable. No, it's what? Not just like in the movies, not. <laughs> Are you getting in trouble? Hmm? Are you getting in trouble? Too hot. Too hot. Look at that. The chicken is underneath. What do you call this chicken? Ge General Tahoe. General Tahoe. It's like a Chevy Tahoe. No. Chop. What is it? Tazos, I guess. Tazo. Tazos. It's a girl Friday. <clears throat> it was just telling me about her episode at Walmart. I'm trying to park in some guy in a truck and he got obnoxious, right? Right. He was get backing out from another spot across the aisle, so to speak. He just kept backing up, coming out of another parking spot, but he just kept backing up closer to me and turning around like I needed to move instead of turning to leave. So I had to back up more, and then he pulled into the spot that I was going to get. So then I pulled into his spot. I don't know what he was doing. He wasn't happy with any parking spots. It's, you know, adventures of Walmart. Oh, how's your food, by the way? How's the chicken and rice? Very good. You had some chicken strips, too. Yeah, and the rice is very good, this chef. Mine is very good.